Guys, are you ready for another Mega Grail unboxing? I know I am. Here we go. What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. So today I am beyond excited to open up all of these boxes, a few of which have been sitting around for quite a while, but two of them just came in and I am really excited to finally unveil what has been sitting inside these. If you guys are new to the channel, make sure to smash that subscribe button, especially if you are giant Funko collectors like myself. So we're just gonna get started here and um, you know what, I'm, I'm not gonna start with the smallest box. I feel like that's what you'd expect. But um, in all of these boxes here, we have three pops and one soda and they are all mega additions to my collection. So we're gonna get started with this one, which was actually a gift from a very good friend, so shout out to you, Ryan. Um, actually, two, excuse me, three out of four of these boxes uh, were actually gifts, and I am incredibly grateful to everybody who sends something over for us to unbox here on the channel or just as a gift for our collection. It is completely unnecessary, so if anybody out there is considering it, please just know that you do not have to, and it is not why we make videos here on YouTube. But we're gonna get the first box open here. And I'm extremely excited for this one. Um, when Ryan told me he was going to be grabbing this one for me, I, I was shocked. And I told him several times he did not have to do it, that it was one that I did want, but I was going to wait on and see how it, you know, turns out in terms of price. But he was very generous and sent this over. So we're going to unwrap this here. As the, the person who sold it to him did a very good job with packaging it. And it is a limited piece, Freddy Funko. Oh man, this one's super cool. The 4,500 piece Freddy Funko as Peter Pan, which was just given out to all those in attendance at WonderCon 2023 over in California. This one's really cool. It pretty much dropped out of nowhere as uh, nobody was really expecting a big limited piece Freddy in addition to the clown Freddy that we were already getting. So I'm super hyped to have this one in the, in the uh, collection because the movie Peter Pan is pretty significant to myself. Uh, my last name is actually Darling, which is the same last name of the family in Peter Pan. So it's always played a, uh, a little role in my life. So very grateful to have Freddy Funko as Peter Pan in my collection. So thank you so much, Ryan. And I'm going to get this one in a hard stack very soon. All right, next box we're going to open up. Now we'll do the small box here. So this small box right here actually contains a soda. And it's from a, another very good friend of mine. Once again, I was not expecting this. And then when he told me that he had picked it up, I told him that he was crazy, but I am super grateful you know, for everything you've done for me, Jason, so thank you so much, brother. And the soda we have right here is the PX Previews exclusive Moon Knight soda. And I'm sure some of you guys, or most of you guys, if you collect sodas or you're into Funko at all, you've probably seen a bunch of people open up this soda. You've probably even seen some people pull the chase. However, I don't know how many other people out there are the proud owner of this particular version of the soda, but guys, this just isn't the Moon Knight soda. This is not just the Chase Moon Knight soda. This happens to be the AP Moon Knight Chase Funko Soda. And if you guys don't know, AP actually stands for Artist Proof, so it's one of the first sodas that Funko actually came out with when they were doing their final testing and um, you know everything getting ready the, for the product to drop and officially come out onto the market. So I will proudly put up a glow picture on the screen so you guys can see what the glow looks like on Mr. Moon Knight here. And I, I really enjoyed the Moon Knight series. Moon Knight, he's pretty much the Batman version, you know, in the Marvel Cinematic Universe with some minor differences and everything, but great character, and um, I'm just super blown away and super hyped to have this one in the collection. I now have two AP sodas, which is pretty crazy. I never thought I would own any, and now to be the proud owner of two is pretty insane. So, Jason, I, I can't thank you enough, so thank you so much for your incredible generosity, and... Um, I think we might have to do an updated 
soda collection video at some point. So if you guys would be interested in seeing an updated soda collection tour, let us know down in the comments section below. All right, next pop that we're gonna open. You know what, we went for the smallest box. Now let's go for the biggest box. And believe it or not, I'm pretty sure, I could be wrong, there's some surprises every now and then, but pretty sure there's only one pop in here and it is an NFT redeemable pop that I am super excited to finally unbox. And I have a couple reasons why, which I will share with you guys in just a moment. Oh, there's a lot of tape on here. So if you guys don't collect the NFTs, um, they actually drop redeemable pops uh, for each NFT wave. And yes, there is, it looks like one pop in here. Perfect. Very well packaged, if I might add. And this was one that I was super hyped for and very lucky enough to be able to obtain from the drop. And ooh. He looks good. He is in a very fresh hard stack, which I always love to see. And guys, check this out. Limited to only 2,397 pieces. We have Freddy Funko as Bumblebee from the Transformers drop, which this is super cool. And the main reason why I wanted to get this on top of being a huge Transformers fan and loving Bumblebee the character, he goes perfectly with the Optimus Prime Freddy Funko that they dropped last year during Fun Days. So if there ever was two characters in Freddy form that belonged to be together, it would have to be Optimus Prime and Bumblebee Freddy Funkos. And you know what? I really hope Funko makes another uh, Freddy Funko as a XYZ Transformer. I would love that. Just give us all the Freddies as Transformers, whether that be, you know, uh, Shockwave or um, who else could they make? They could do Barricade. I mean, they could do so many. There's a lot of great options. So i um, super excited to now have this one in the collection on top of Optimus Prime that I picked up last year. So, all right, we got one more box to open up. And this is yet another gift. So I'm just beyond humbled by, you know, all the generosity that you guys have shown us here on the channel. Not only myself, but Joanna as well. I mean, you guys have really pulled together and, and picked up some really cool stuff for our collection. And Joanna and I talk about it all the time. Like We really cannot believe that we are in the position that we are because of this fantastic community. So this is yet another one that means a lot to me. And I'm very, very lucky to now have it in the collection. So, oh, I do have a note here. Um, let me see if I can read this really quick. So, my man Daryl sent us a little note here. It says, John and Joanna, congratulations on reaching 20,000 subscribers. Actually, I just checked and you're over 21,000. Appreciate you both for being so positive to all of the collectors as well to the non-collectors in the community. John, enjoy the Freddy, which will go perfectly in your collection. Joanna, I'll get something for you next time. You really do not have to. I included a couple mini medals uh, made by Josh C. Lindman. Keep up the awesome content. Your proud patron, Daryl. Well, thank you so much, Daryl. Um, I see. I see. And speaking of Transformers, look at this. We have a little Optimus Prime right here, which is fantastic. And then we have a little Colossus from the X-Men. Another super cool one that I'm definitely going to have to keep. I think I'm going to put them with their corresponding pops. And as Daryl mentioned in the note, this is a Freddy Funko. By the way, guys, we keep everyone's notes, all the post-its, um, little envelopes, cards, anything you guys send over, we have every single one. Whether it's a scrap of paper or you know a, a fancy card like I mentioned, we, we keep them all. So it really means a lot to us. And this pop means a lot to me because it's one that I've been trying to track down for several months. Um, just hadn't had a chance to pull the trigger yet. And oh man, this thing is beautiful. And even though I did not attend San Diego Comic-Con. I did attend New York Comic-Con, and I'm gonna show off the other Freddy that's gonna go perfectly with this one in just a second. So, this is the San Diego Comic-Con Hall H exclusive, limited to 6,800 pieces. 
Oh man, I I love this Freddy. This is super awesome. He's like the Comic Con Freddy. He's got his glasses. He's got his little bag with all his goodies in there. And like I said, I was lucky enough to go to New York Comic Con, and I want to give a shout out once again to Rock and Row who actually picked up the Fright Night Freddy Funko at the con for me while I was there. And now I'm super excited because I have both versions of this specific Freddy. I don't know if he has an official name yet, but I'm gonna call him the Con Freddy Funko. And we have the New York Comic Con Fright Night version and the San Diego Comic Con Hall H version. These, these are both two killer pieces. I mean, they just, they really complement each other very well. On the um, Hall H Freddy Funko really quick, if you can see on his shirt, he actually has a badge that says, I love San Diego. And then they did the same thing for the Fright Night Freddy here. On his shirt, he has a little badge. It's super tiny, so I don't know if you guys will be able to see it, but it says, I heart New York. So the little details like that, that Funko does sometimes, are just truly killer, and they make certain pieces just extra special. So um, once again, huge shout out. Daryl, thank you so much. Jason, thank you so much. And Ryan, um, just truly blown away by everybody's generosity. So that's gonna do it for the unboxing portion of today's video. But since it is Monday, it is time for our Monday motivation segment. Every single week we like to bring you guys a small piece of Monday motivation to help kickstart your week and get you through the toughest day of the week, which is of course Monday. And today's Monday motivation is going to go hand in hand with everything that just transpired over the last few minutes and guys, Today's Monday motivation is give as much as you can and you never know what you're gonna get back in return. And I'm gonna tell you guys from experience right here on the channel, Joanna and I have just thrown our hearts and souls into what we're doing here in the Funko community. And uh, we've given pretty much everything that we have. I mean, we try to you know give more each day and everything with our videos and our, you know, our charity um, drives and everything. And of course our auctions and our Patreon program and all of our great channel members. We just try to give as much as we can back to everybody that supported us. But I will tell you, we were not prepared for the amount of support we were going to get in such a short period of time. We're coming up on doing this for a, you know, a total of three years now, which is really not that long in the grand scheme of things. And I'm super proud to see how far the channel has come. And I'm even more proud of all the friendships that I've made here in the community. So I want to extend this motivation to you guys Whatever community you're in, whatever job profession you're in, if you're in school or whatever you got going on with your life, try to give back as much as possible. It can be in small ways like holding the door for somebody or it can be in big ways like, you know, looking out for somebody and saying, hey, um, I know you're struggling this month. You know, let me lend you some money, maybe help out with a bill or, um, you know, picking up a, a huge grail for someone's collection. I mean, there's a variety of ways you can truly help people here in you know today's society and um, we've just been blown away by all the support we've gotten so definitely give back as much as you can and look out for others and that's the type of stuff that we want to keep promoting here on the channel because we are speaking from experience. So that's going to do it for us today, guys. Thank you so much for watching. We will be back on the WhatNot app tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. So we have a nice selection of items up for grabs, whether that be pops or sodas. Or if you're looking to grab one of each, we got a ton of great stuff. And um, we truly appreciate the support as all the money from our auctions just goes right back into our channel and helping us grow and continue on our YouTube journey. So thank you guys so much. Have a great rest of your Monday. And we will see you tonight at 7 p.m. Eastern. As always, don't stop shooting until you score.